Tonight, Crow is our bunny barometer. Wet winters and rabbit viral hemorrhagic disease has meant the population here and in other places across the UK has taken a huge hit. But are there signs of a bunny bounce back? Most people are saying the same thing, that the old rabbits are in a bit short supply. So this year's youngster, usually this time of year you shoot shed loads of them, but that's it. Still we're getting a few, getting a few. When I used to come up here and help him out, we were shooting two, three thousand a year. Just to compare it, how many did you shoot last year compared to what you used to? 75 I shot last year. And I can remember when you and Dom first started coming out, you would ring up say any chance we'd shoot a few rabbits this week and I'll say yeah come up and we go out for an hour, hour and a half and we'd shoot 75, 100 in an hour and a half, so no problem at all. There's a few coming back now, there's a few about, but yeah so that's why we're going to pop out and see if we can shoot a few tonight. But everyone's ringing up and saying oh can you get us rabbits, can you get us rabbits and they are in short supply. Because it's been so wet, Andy has brought up his Polaris to attack the fields. It has shooting specific add-ons. Justin made all this. I, I cut it all and I just got him to weld it. He helped me out. I yelled it while I drilled the holes and put it on. <laughs> Justin made it. <laughs> now the thing is, you got, if you're going to do this properly, you've got to have the, you've got to have the proper frame. So, and Justin is pretty cute at doing the fabrication. So, yeah, he's, he, I just load it on the low load and brought it up and. Justin made it for me. Andy is nostalgic about this ground. He and Justin have at times been fighting a rabbit tsunami on this chalky, easy draining land. I haven't been up here for quite a while now, shooting rabbits with Justin, uh, probably two years. And this part of the field, I was expecting big things. It never ever used to grow corn. Where we started, it never used to grow corn. There'd be that, there'd be that many rabbits about, and we've come all the way along here. It's, it's unbelievable. The corn is no different on, on this headland than it is out in the middle of the field. So, and it's on chalk, and it never grows as well on chalk. But it's weird that you know you want rabbits because you're that's doing right. the sport of it. Yeah, we we used to get a buzz out of going out and shooting big bags of rabbits, but but as a farmer, you don't want them. Um, so like Justin was just saying, from a farmer's side, it's nice going around not seeing the rabbits, but from a shooter's side, uh, we used to shoot, oh, hundreds and hundreds, and it never used to dent them, never used to put a dent in them. The first few rabbits are short range, everything else isn't. Justin finds his range with the 17 HMR. It may seem crazy to be hitting the rabbits when they are down, but this is still crop protection, and the numbers need to be kept in check. It's a delicate balance. Why do you make that noise? Right. Get them to sit up and have a look. When they're down. A rabbit rabbit with a problem. <laughs> so that's basically a bedded rabbit. Yeah. You see, when I first started squeaking, he sat, he sat up, didn't he? Yeah. The lamp catches a fox in the hedge. Justin takes his chance. There are no lambs here, but the foxes carry a disease which affects cattle. Usually we don't shoot the foxes 1-7, but he's hit that one in the top of the nut. It wasn't that far. Is that from there to here? 85. 90 yards. We've seen a couple of foxes tonight, I'm not bothered with them, but this one he, he was sitting there nicely, so Justin was tempted to have a go. So, not a reason that, um, like Justin's just pointed out, they are a pain um, and they carry the, the disease, Neospora, which is passed on to the cows and it's passed down to the calves. And once they've, they've got it, that's it really. Um, you can't do anything with the calves, so um, that's why Justin keeps them on top of the a few fox is about, so otherwise they're not doing him any harm, but with the dairy and uh, all the following calves and that, they are a problem. So. We've been across about 500 acres and come home with about 40 rabbits. Running shot, running shot, running shot, man. There's some, some nice rabbits here as it goes. These go to the game dealer? Or? Yeah, these go to the game dealer. There is a demand for them. 
because there ain't many people getting them. Well, not around here anyway. So, uh, but no, not around here there's not many people getting them, so. I dare say I'll end up eating one or two of these as well. I quite like them, bo boil them and boil them up, take the meat off and then uh, fry it. It doesn't taste much different to chicken then. It's quite nice. No, it's been a good evening. He shot well, didn't he? Yeah. It's taken a long time for me to teach him, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, he's had some bloody good shots tonight. No, the old boy done well tonight. 36 there. Three more we lost down holes where they kicked and went down the hole. Yeah, that's all right. The population is definitely on the up, but they are both lamp and camera shy.